Hey guys, this is me, Brian, bringing you another review. Um, this video goes out to Travis, Mr. Oddfellow's Thoughts. Um, I was talking to him on Twitter about this book, and he said that he's never read it, but it caught his eye, and he was wanting to pick it up. So I figured, since I got done reading it today, that I would review it for him. So this is going to be my attempt at reviewing Oni Press's Ghost Project. Um, this is a hardcover, just in case y'all didn't know. Um, this cover does glow in the dark, um, very brightly, but I tried to get a photo of it with my tablet, but for some reason it wouldn't pick it up. I have no idea why. It may not be sensitive enough, but it does glow in the dark and very brightly. Um, okay, let's see. The people who made this book are... Okay, it's written by Joe Harris, uh, illustrated by Steve Rolston, colored by Dean Tripe, or I guess it could be Tripp. Um, lettered, the letters for you, Mike, are by Douglas E. Sherwood. Um, I don't have no idea who those people are, but if you know who they are, then that's great. Um, maybe that'll help you get excited for this book. Um, this book follows, um, Will Haley. Um, he is a, um, golly, I had it before I hit the record button. Um, I don't like pausing for very long, but, um, he is a chemical warfare specialist. That's what it is. Um. And he gets sent to Russia on a job to find some missing canisters. Um, and this girl is who he gets partnered with. Her name is Anya Romanov. I believe is how you pronounce her name. Um, so it's their job to find out what happened to the missing canisters at uh, an abandoned um, chemical facility there in Russia. Um, uh, a military um, complex. And they believe that a doctor who used to work there, his name is Dr. Constantin, I believe is how you say his name, um, is the one who took him, but is he? Um, if you love supernatural or ghosts or, um, war type comics, um, or history in general, um, this book has a little bit of it all. Um, the art and this book is just simply phenomenal. Um, I'm trying to find a... A pretty cool page. That don't give nothing away. Sorry, this is taking so long. Okie dokie. Here we go. Let's see if I hold it down like this. Maybe that y'all can. 
Is this working out at all for y'all? Sorry if it's not. It's just... Anyway, I hope y'all can see that. I might just have to show y'all this other page over here. Um... Sorry this is taking so long. Okay. Let's try this page here. Let's see if it works out better. I hope y'all can see that. Um, anyway. Um... I tried to show y'all the art. I can't get a very good angle on it. Um, but anyway, I hope y'all could see it good enough. Um, the art, anyway, trust me, is unbelievable. Um, they did a very good job. Okay, now for uh, the cons of the book. This book shocked me. About how bad the language is in it. Um, I couldn't believe how bad the the language was. It to me was overdone. There was many many sentences in this book that had cuss words, um, or they seemed like they shouldn't need to be just. The simplest of sentences had cuss words, and um, I don't know. I I just personally didn't see no sense in it. Um, but I'm not here to judge. Uh, apparently, that's what they wanted. And that wasn't my call. Um, that may not matter to some of y'all. Um, but it did kind of take me out of the story, so I just wanted to bring it up. But, like I said, that may not be a a con to y'all. Um, the reason why it shocked me so much is because this book, I don't know if you can tell, but right there, has a teen rating. And under that T, it says ages 13 and plus. There is no way... That I would let a 13 year old read this book. Not with this kind of language in it. Um, maybe. For a. Maybe. For a 16 or 17 year old. Is why I'd say. Um, I'd go with a 16 plus. Probably a 15. But I'm going to stick with 16. But that's my personal opinion. Um, I know I'm rambling on about that. Um, sorry, I was blocking my face. Um, I don't mean to ramble on it. It was just shocking. Um, another con to the book, um, again, this is personal preference. I felt like I needed to have the Russian Rosetta Stone program to fully understand the book because there is a lot of Russian dialogue in the in the comic. Um so um with that said guys um those are my pros and cons for the book. Um if you don't mind the language Travis then this book is awesome. It has a great ending. Um like I said before, if you're into the paranormal or supernatural, whatever you want to call it, um, I believe you'll like this book. But go in knowing 
that there is some bad language in this book. Um, and um, if you end up getting it, Travis, um, let me know if you figure out some of the Russian stuff, because it'd probably help give insight. Um, but other than that, guys, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. I did my best to review it without giving too much away. Um, I just tried to give a synopsis of it, but I'm starting to ramble now. So with that, I will talk to y'all later. Love y'all. God bless.